Hiya, you look like you had a great sleep, which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. So, in the last episode, we made it back to Snowden after visiting Undyne in her place and her becoming really dramatic and amazing and telling us more about Asgore. And how, and honestly, he's a lot like us. He doesn't want to have to fight. He doesn't want any pain or suffering for anyone, but he's willing to defend himself, and he's willing to do what he has to for his people. And in a way, I think that's admirable. If we were put in charge of so many people, we may do the same thing. And for us, though, we're all about ourselves, and we don't have to worry about that. tra la uh-oh, suddenly feeling tropical. Come again sometime, Shala. So, I'm gonna head up here. Please select a location. The third floor, aka the final floor. Welcome to our parlor, dearie. Interest in some spider pastries? All proceeds go to real spiders. It looks like some sort of powerful bracelet. Wait, it's just a croissant. It's a spider donut. It looks more rubbery than usual. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Buy a spider donut for 9999G? No, I will not. Also, I just realized how full I am. Um, dimensional box A. Oh wait, I don't have to go to boxes anymore, I just realized that. Let's put this in here. This in here. I just realized I have a dog residue for some reason. Was it from handling that dog bomb earlier? Better not have been. Buy spider cider for 9999G? No, I will not. Ain't nobody got money for that. Ring. Hi, Alpha's here. This room is like the room we saw before. There are two puzzles to the north and south. You'll have to solve them both to proceed. Also, I'd like to say, I don't really like giving away puzzle solutions, but if you need help, just call me, okay? Actually, wait, I have an idea. Let's be friends on Undernet. Then you can just ping me whenever you need help. Wait, we're already friends, aren't we? I signed you up, didn't I? You've been reading my post the whole time. Well, I hope you agree with me about Mimi too. Ah, she seems embarrassed. Okay, go this way, this way, right, up, right, up, left. I made a mistake. Up, up, left, up. Done. Sundari point attacks, not because it's jealous Falcon is paying attention to you. Encourage Vulcan. The attack becomes extreme. Idiot! Ah, it does my best. Vulcan parades around you proudly. Already done. Mm, human. Gives you a condescending barrel roll. <laughs> Approach. You get close to Cinderella Plane, but not too close. Eh, human? Cinderella Plane looks over, then turns up its nose. You won, you're in a hundred gold. Same as that boss battle earlier. Oh, shoot the opposing ship. Yeah, you just have to one shot. Yikes, um... Completed. Congratulations! I have no idea how I did it. Don't ask. My fave Metaton moment in trademark, right when everything looks the baddest, he poses dramatically. Like when he's on a cooking show and the eggs don't turn out right. 
Okay, when everything looks bad, he poses dramatically. My fave Metaton moment trademark is when he beats up the heel-turning villains. Even if it's during what's supposed to be a quiz show. Okay, so he beats up people who run away. It's not very hard to get through this area. Wait, what? I have some confusion. Ring. Hey, this um doesn't have anything to do with guiding you, but uh, hey, would you want to watch a human TV show together sometime? It's called, um, Me 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 Kiss Cutie. Sure. Really? It's so good. It's, um, my favorite show. It's all about this human girl named Me Me who which humans don't have, so she's all sensitive about them, but, like, eventually she realizes that her ears don't matter, and that her friends don't like her despite the ears. It's fairly moving. Whoopsie spoilers. Also, it sounds weird, but she has the power to control the minds of anyone she kisses. She kisses people and controls them to fix her problem. They don't remember anything after the kiss, I mean, but if she misses the kiss, then, then, uh, and, uh, I also, I mean, of course, eventually she realizes that controlling people, okay, well, I almost spoiled the whole show, but, uh, I think you'd really like it. We should watch it after you get through all this. Yep, that sounds like me explaining my favorite shows to my friends. Shoot the opposing ship, you only have one shot. Boom, easy. Way too easy for me. Congratulations! Seriously, that was way too easy. Oh, wait. You stopped to smell the flowers. <laughs> I really... Okay. Oh, fine. I accept that. I accept that joke. I love that joke. Alright. I'm on my way. From misery to happiness. Uh -huh. I was wondering when the next save room would be. Small cobwebs fill the air. You're filled with determination. I wonder, did I... Yeah, I'm sure I did. It doesn't matter. This looks boss fighty. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear what they just said? They said human wearing a striped shirt will come through. <laughs> I heard that they hate spiders. I heard that they love to stomp on them. I heard that they like to tear their legs off. This seems... I heard. That they're awfully stingy with their money. <laughs> you think your taste is too refined for our pastries, don't you, dearie? <laughs> I disagree with that notion. I think your taste is exactly what this next batch needs. Muffet traps you. Hello, Miss Muffet. She sat on her tuffet, drinking some curd and what? I don't remember it. Um. I. You pay 10 G. Muffet reduces her attack for this turn. Don't look so blue, my dearie. I think purple is a better look on you. <laughs> You're trapped in a strange purple web. Up next is that. Hey, 40G. Muffet reduces her attack for this turn. Why so pale? You should be proud. Muffet does a synchronized dance with the other spiders. Proud that you're going to make a delicious cake. <laughs> I love this song. Pours you a cup of spiders. I mean, I have the spider donut and spider cider. That would be a way to prove that I'm not stingy, but... 
You pay 80 G, Muff reduces your attack for this turn. Oh, you go, don't be silly. All the spiders clap along with the music. Your soul is gonna make every spider very happy. First time she hit me. Muffet tidied up the webs around you. Oh, how rude of me. I almost forgot to introduce you to my pet. It's breakfast time, isn't it? Have fun, you two. Oh, no. What the... F what? How does this work? All the spiders clap along to the music. This is fun. The person who warned us about you? Flowey, right? All the spiders clap along with the music. Offering us a lot of money for your soul. Muffet pours you a cup of spiders. They have such a sweet smile and... <laughs> Yikes. Tidied up the web around you. Let's use a bicycle. Maxed out. It's strange, but I, saw, I s swore I saw them in the shadows changing shape. Or maybe it's not. Is Flowey not normally like that? Or maybe it's not Flowey. Maybe it's the robot, right? I mean, final form, whatnot. Oh, it's lunchtime, isn't it? I forgot to feed my pet. All the spiders clap along with the music. With that money, the spider clans can finally be reunited. Where's your cup of spiders? You haven't heard? Spiders have been trapped in the ruins for generations. You eat the unicycle. Unicycle. Your HP is maxed out. Even if they go under the door, Snowden's fatal cold is impassable alone. <sighs> All the spiders clap along with music. But with the money from your soul, we'll be able to rent them a heated limo. Empty your pockets, but you don't have enough money. Muffet lowers the price. And with all the leftovers, we could have a nice vacation. Or even build a spider baseball field. Muffet does a synchronized dance with the other spiders. You pay 15 G. Muffet reduces your attack for this turn. But enough of that. It's time for dinner, isn't it? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die here. I'm going to die here. You're still alive? <laughs> oh, my pet looks like it's time for dessert. Huh? Telegram from the spiders in the ruins? What? They're saying they saw you in... You were really passionate about spiders? Oh my, this has all been a big misunderstanding. I thought you were someone that hated spiders. The person who asked for that soul, they must have met a different human in a striped shirt. Sorry for all the trouble. <laughs> I'll make it up to you. You can come back here anytime, and for no charge at all, I'll wrap you up and let you play with my pet again. 
Just kidding. I'll spare you now. And that's how you get out of being eaten alive. <laughs> that was fun. See you again, dearie. Ow. Wait. Seriously, ow. The smell of cobwebs fills the air. You're filled with determination. Did... Is that it, though? There you are, dearie. You're always welcome into my parlor. Just stay on your best behavior. <laughs> Okay. Um. Did having those in my inventory save me? It's a poster from Metaton's later stage for. Yeah, okay. Starcross lovers kept apart by the tides of fate. It looks like it's all the same for the performance. Oh, that human. Could it be? I want true love. Okay, this is disturbing. This just got really weird. I'm not happy with this. This better not turn Romeo and, Dr and Juliet where he tries to get me to drink poison and stab myself or something. What? So sad. So sad that you are going to the dungeon. Wow, toodles. R really? Oh no, whatever shall I do? My love has cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with puzzles so dastardly, my par paramour will surely perish. Oh, heavens have mercy, the horrible color tile maze. Oh my god, yes! Uh, each color tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile so makes a sound, and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will actually- wait a second, didn't we see this puzzle with about a hundred rooms ago? That's right, you remember all the rules, don't you? Great, then I won't waste your time repeating them. So a blue tile next to a yellow tile electrocutes it. A, uh, wait, is it? Green is alarm. I want to say yellow is electric. One of them, like, purple is, like, lemon-scented or something. And the blue has piranha, so they'll eat me. I don't remember the rest of them. Oh, and you better hurry. Because if you don't get through in 30 seconds... You'll be incinerated by these jets of fire. <laughs> My poor love, I'm so filled with grief I can't stop laughing. Good luck, darling. Okay, oh. really? Oh, I'm so sorry. Looks like you're out of time. Here come the flames, darling. They're so clo they're closing in. Getting closer, oh my. 
Any minute now. Robotic cough. Watch out! I'll save you! I'm hacking into the firewall, right? Oh my god, I get it! Oh my god, it's a firewall! Oh my... No, no, how could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphys. That's right. Come on, Metaton. Give up already. You'll never be able to defeat us. Not as long as we work together. Your puzzle's over, now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle? Over. Alphys, darling. What are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They'll make a sound and then you have to fight a monster. Oh, darling, that monster is me. Yeah, well, guess what? I'm yelling at you this time! You yell, but nothing happened. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Is that your phone? You better answer it. Hey, this seems bad, but don't worry. There's one last thing installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to this phone's act menu and press it. It's glowing. You press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Oh. Now press Z. My heart has laser beams. Oh. Oh. You've defeated me. How can this be? You wish you're stronger than I thought, etc. You don't just say etc. Looks like you beat him. You did a really good job out there. All thanks to you. All thanks to you. What? Oh no, I mean, you were the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs for your phone. Um, hey, this might sound strange, but... Can I tell you something? Before I met you, I didn't really... I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw-up. Like, I couldn't do anything without... Without ending up letting everyone down. But guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, we're almost to the core. It's just past MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. He said etc. What does etc mean? Like, what the heck? Hey, it's you again. Business is excellent over here. There's two fellas bought all my ice cream. I'm actually sold out of everything. Sorry. Wait, I've still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? Oh, hey. We're, like, taking a brain check on that killing you thing. Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? He seems happy. Okay. Have that be cool. Gay. Incredibly homosexual. I'm gonna head right before I head up. Hey, hey. Did you remember my name? Did you? What? You remember? How could I be so easily defeated? I'll always remember that you remembered. I'm glad that I won. Flame whatever. <laughs> hey! Go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Before that, I have a best friend over here. Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about you grabbing some dinner with me first? Yes. Great, thanks for treating me. Over here. I like, I know a shortcut. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, but oh. Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? Ah, uh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch your humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door, and it's perfect for press to sing knock knock jokes. Oh my god, I've been waiting for this! So one day, I'm knocking them out, like usual. 
I knock on the door and say knock knock, and suddenly from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Hmm? Who's there? So naturally, I respond. Dishes. Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes a very bad joke. <laughs> I see what you did there. Then she just howls with laughter. Like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I didn't know you could yodel. Wow. Needless to say, this woman is extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. The virus gets kind of cranky without its bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, so I did. Then I did again and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. She, then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through the door, could you please... Please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now I hate making promises. In this woman, I don't even know her name. But someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy. <laughs> you be dead where you stand. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. That's right, isn't it? What? Well, chalk it up to my great skill. Have I not died? Wait, have I not died once? Heh. <laughs> well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Cause someone really cares about you. <laughs>